I'm gonna show you something. Give me the easy ass these four nine. The easy ass these four nine. All praise to the most high bro, that you actually came by this way. I saw the Lord say, We love you. We, we want you to see this. Ecclesiastes 4 and 9. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. But if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow. So the scripture said two is better than one. Meaning, yeah, it's cool to learn by yourself, but guess what? Learning by yourself, you're going to continue to stay in your wickedness because there ain't going to be nobody to check you on it. Uh, or, when you learn it by yourself, you're not going to get the proper understanding. Give me an Acts 8 and 30. You're not going to get the proper you know? understanding of things. We need each other. That's why the scripture said, gather together all nation, not desire. You, my brother, more than you ever know. And guess what? That's why we come out here on this corner. Looking foolish to some people screaming on the microphone and everybody walking by. But we out here for the, the one. Because guess what? The angels in heaven rejoice over one that repent. Yes, right. You the only one that stopped, bro. It's for you. Read. Acts chapter 8 verse 30. And Philip read, said it to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah. And said, understandest thou what thou readest? So Philip acted this Ethiopian eunuch who he actually wasn't in right? he just happened to be from Ethiopia. He asked him if he was understanding what he reading. I see you reading the Bible, I see you studying. What do you need help with? That's what Philip is asking him. Let me explain this, let me show you. So that's what we want to do. We want to show you some things. We're going to show you Numbers 1538 right now. Because you know you Israel already. You've been studying a few months. All praise to the Most High. Like, know, right. You know that already. Matter of fact, give me 1 Corinthians 8, 11. Give me 1 Corinthians 11. Because you, you may or may not know this, but we're going to help you right now. And, and this is going to be a little bit of repentance if you accept it. 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3. But I will have you know, that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. So it says, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. And it just said that the head of every man is Christ. So when you're in the spirit of prophecy, when this Bible is coming out, or if you're praying, if you have your head covered, you're dishonoring Christ. So right now, you are in the spirit of prophecy. All praises to the Most High. All praises. That's a, hey, so that shows that you are receptive to what this Bible says and that you want repentance. Because that's a little bit of repentance right there, bro. All praises to the Most High. Now let's go back to number 1538. I'm going to well. Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So it said, bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So you know what the fringes are, right? So let me ask you, what's your situation right now? As far as your ability to be able to give fringes or your ability to be able to come congregate? Your pockets ain't right? I've been doing research on all of this. I'm about to be in the yard. Anywhere I see that pop up. Guess what? Guess what? If you turn that flyer over on the back, we have 5,000 old kids to the road. That's right. What you doing today? I'm about to go get you a line and print up. From your little apartment? So you, you, you're going to the barber shop on the Sabbath day. Right, you're supposed to be congregating. That's what you're supposed to be doing. You ain't supposed to be going to spend no money because I'm pretty sure he's going to charge you about $15. All praises. Have him do it after the Sabbath day. Have him do it after the Sabbath day. Have him do it after the Sabbath day. Yeah, you, 
you can go share that with him, or you can come learn somewhere. Right. The, the invitation is open. The door to the school will open at three o'clock. You can you come through because guess what? You need somebody to show you, to guide you, to help you learn. But it's cool watching on YouTube. But guess what? When it's live in 3D, it's always better. Right. It's always better. Uh, bro. I know. Okay. When I go to watch, you go quick. I got the Bible right there with me. Right. And so you, you should come to class where you're able to ask your questions. Because guess what? Yeah. I'm pretty sure we got answers to every question on YouTube. But you might not be able to find it right there when you need the answer to the question. Yeah, but you can ask TV. that question right there at the school and get your answer. Bring it out. That's, that's why we come out here, bro. We ain't coming out here just to be hollering at people. Right. right. They, they don't understand that. A lot of people scared of truth because of what your brain wants to talk. I, you know, our grandfather, our mother, and great grandfather, they've been talking. It's been passed down. Right. Like right. Just like. A lot of people don't like hearing that Easter ain't in the Bible. Right. Well, let me retract that statement because you might have an old smart behind person say Easter is in the Bible. Which it is. But the Israelites did not celebrate Easter. That's right. Jesus Christ did not command us to celebrate Easter. And three days and three nights, you can't get that from Friday to Sunday. Bring it out. Yeah. So, I got another question for you. What do bunny rabbits and eggs got to do with Jesus? So why we celebrate that? I don't know why they celebrate it, but I know I don't know. When you found out the truth. What about before that? Why we celebrate it? Colossians 2 and 8. Bring it out. Colossians 2 and 8. These are the things we got to learn why we did certain things so we can help pull our people out of that. That's right. Guess what? Your job now, you know you Israel, you learning. Your job now is to learn. Matter of fact, drop that. Give me Hebrews. Bring it out. Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12. Because this is what you got to do. Before we even get into all that, this is what you got to do right chapter here. Chapter 5, verse 12. 5 and 12. Hebrews chapter 5, verse, verse 12. But when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Except when we, so that's the, that's the job of a prophet, is to be a teacher. But when you, when it's time for you to teach, you have need of one to teach you again. Right. Why? Because we got all these philosophies and traditions of the world still in our head. Mm -hmm. And we gotta we gotta get ourselves right. Give me, uh, give me that in uh second Edges. Second Edges 14. Second Edges 14 and start at verse 13. This these are the things we gotta do. And this is why you need to come around and congregate. Uh, it's all places you wanna share that with your brother. But he's gonna look at you like Bro, you still coming in here on the Sabbath day? You still buying and selling on the Sabbath? You ain't even doing everything you talking about. You gonna tell me something. That's why you gotta come learn first. It's good to share it. You can still share it, but don't be in there trying to teach because they're gonna look at you like you're a hypocrite. Read. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 13. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Cover such of them as be in trouble and renounce corruption. Again. Now therefore, set thine house in order and reprove thy people. So you see the order? It says set thy house in order, meaning get your stuff together, then reprove your people, then right. correct your people, then teach your people. Right. Then comfort them with the scriptures, showing them that it's going to be all right. Showing them why we getting shot down in the streets, why we dirt broke and messed up, why we at the bottom of society. It's all because we want to celebrate Easter. Right. We want to celebrate Christmas. Right. We think New Year's is in the dead of winter. These are the reasons we at the bottom of society. We think it's all right to go in there and buy shrimp, crawfish, crab, and lobster. My brother, how you doing, bro? What's going on, man? Hey, do you know you're an Israelite? Do you know you God's chosen people? Do you know you special? Do you know you ain't supposed to be celebrating Easter tomorrow? See, see how people say yeah.
man they know, but a man may be known in his countenance. A man may be known by his look. If our people knew these things, everybody would be out here wearing fringes. That's our right. women would be wearing dresses. Our men would have beards on their face. They wouldn't have blonde hair on their head. They wouldn't be chasing Americans. Ain't none of that in the Bible. The children of Israel, the 12 tribes, those that were colonialized, marginalized, and put in slavery at the bottom of slave ships. That's who Jesus Christ came to save. Because guess what? The Arab, the Arab man don't need no saving. The Chinese man don't need no saving. The white man don't need no saving. Nope. The only people that need to be saved is the people that's out here strung, on, strung out on crack cocaine, strung out on heroin here in New Orleans, strung out on Christianity here in New Orleans. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those that, when the project got tore down, they moved right back into the same spot because they ain't no, nowhere else to go, doing the same things. They tore down the project. They gave you your, they gave you a lease to get away. But you're right back in the hood doing the same thing. Yep. Still on Washington and Broad, shooting up needles and shooting each other. Bro, come on. Look, we gotta see we gotta see that we greater. But guess what? We can't see that we greater unless we got preachers. Real preachers. Give me that in Romans 10. Here's the thing, you can't wake up if they ain't teaching you the right thing. Sorry. Romans 10, you know what I want? Start at 14. Romans chapter 10, verse 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? He says, how shall they hear without a preacher of him who they have not heard? But they have not heard that Jesus Christ is a black man. Right. He's a child of Judah. He walked the earth today. You will be called the so-called African American. They have not heard that the blood that flows through his veins flows through your veins. Right. They haven't heard that. They haven't heard that Jesus Christ ain't died for everybody. Right. They haven't heard these things. Check it out. They haven't heard that Jesus Christ only loved the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They've been taught a lie. They've been taught a lie that Jesus Christ came and died for the whole world. Why would he die for people that hated him? The world ain't love Jesus Christ. You know why they ain't love him? Because he was black. And they don't love us, so they ain't love him. Read. And how shall they preach except he be sick? How shall they preach except they be sent? Because guess what? Your TD Jakes, your Kirk Low Dollars, all these pastors in these Sunday churches, they ain't been sent to God. Bring it they ain't sent to God, they will teach these commandments. Right. right. They will teach the laws of God. Bring they will be out here on the corners, sighing and crying, being a spectacle. But they ain't doing that. Right. They're trying to give you your pocket. Guess where they're going to be at tomorrow? They're going to have Easter Sunday service tomorrow. Right, you know bring what it Easter out. Sunday service is? As worship at Astaroth. A Canaanite goddess of fertility and springtime. They ain't got nothing to do with the Bible. ain't got nothing to do with Jesus Christ. They ain't got nothing to do with black people. Bring it out. We and how shall they preach except they be sick? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. And this is the gospel of peace, because a lot of people might think this is hate speech, but telling the blacks and Spanish and Native Americans that they are the greatest people on earth is the true gospel. That is the gospel of peace. That's what Jesus Christ taught. That's what we're going to teach. Break it out. And that's what you need to learn, bro. That's why you got to come around and congregate. That's all praise to the most how you watch. Now it's time to start putting that to action. Power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.